and do we believe it? Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Reverend Dr. Stackhouse, fellow ministers, and to all of my sisters and brothers in Christ, I'm truly grateful for God to bless me with this opportunity to come back home and share God's word and celebrate all the beautiful women at this celebration of 2023. Let's give all the beautiful women a hand. Amen. Amen. Psalms 118.24. This is a day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in. Are we happy today? Are we rejoicing today? Amen. I would like to acknowledge my family really quickly. My daughter, Samia Richardson, my parents, um, and my family and friends. Amen. And all of my Lewis Chapel family also. And if anyone's from Simon Temple, amen. Please stand for the reading of the scripture. And I will be reading from King James Version. Amen. The scripture, Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Again, Philippians 4, 6 through 7. And it's the King James Version. And say amen when you found it. Amen. Let's go. Amen. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which pass all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Let me read that one more time while we're standing. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which pass all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. And thank you for may be seated. Amen. Let us pray. Precious Lord, we come to you, Father God, just to say thank you. Thank you for calling us to be the head and not the tail, Father God. Above and not beneath, Father God. Thank you for being the author and finisher of our faith, Father God. I ask you to decrease me and increase the Holy Spirit, Father God, so your word, God's word, can edify the women and the body of Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Amen. Let me share a famous quote with you from Maya Angelou. My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive. And so with some passion, some compassion, some humor and style. Let me read that one more time in case you missed it. My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive. And so with some passion, some compassion, some humor and style. Quoting Maya Angelou, amen. Let me just take you back like a flashback through my life really fast. Is that okay? Um, from 2021, God told me to come here and be transparent with the women of Lewis Chapel, be transparent with the men, the children, and the youth. Is that okay? Amen. So in 2024, I preached a sermon saying survive the test. I, I left right preaching that sermon, and I actually conducted my first baptism with Bishop Brian R. Thompson, um, and I took another person into the water, and we baptized them together. Leading up also, I worked with Habakkuk 2, 2 through 3, about writing the vision. My daughter, Samia, we do a lot of ministry together. We actually wrote a vision and casted the vision from high school, from graduation, this is 2021, and going into college, her graduation date. Visuals and everything, amen? So listen for a moment. I experienced a life-changing survival event. I said survival event on November 26, 2021. 
My daughter and I was involved in a head-on collision at approximately speed of 65 miles per hour heading to Myrtle Beach at 1 o'clock p.m. My car was totaled and my daughter was initially unconscious from the impact. This particular accident had one fatality and we were transported to the hospital for treatment. I reached out to my mentor's leadership to pray and updated them on the situation. My mentors immediately started to pray. Bishop Brian R. Thompson, Velika R. Thompson, they began to pray my leadership for me as we were going in the ambulance. My God, my God. I struggled to move the left side of my body that was in extreme pain. The doctors informed me they didn't have to call an anesthesiologist to res reset my wrist and my left arm. I, con I contacted my family to share details and they were concerned. My family immediately started praying. My family immediately started praying. My daughter and I experienced health challenges and attended several PT, OT, and medical providers. My daughter returned to high school and I returned to work. Look at God. God is amazing and worthy to be praised. God is amazing and worthy to be praised. Amen. Beautiful women of Lewis Chapel, I'm a walking, living testimony of God's protection and grace. Praise report number one. Amen. My subject for this morning is the power of prayer. Turn to your neighbor and say, the power of prayer. One more time, turn to your other neighbor. The power of prayer. Amen. Amen. God's word reveals and instructs believers to make prayer a high priority. God wants to continuously hear from his children. He wants to hear from us. Let's continue praying. And for some of us who may have stopped along the way, let's engage back into our prayer life. Amen? Can we say engage back into our prayer life? Amen. Always remember God wants to hear from his children over and over again. Turn to your neighbor and say the power of prayer. Amen. Visualize with me for a minute the Energizer Bunny that keeps going and going and going. As strong women operating in different capacities in work, home, church, and our community, our battery can run low. Amen. Especially when we experience life-changing events. Turn to your partner and say, recharge and engage in the power of prayer. Amen. We have to stay connected to the source, the power of prayer. When we pray, things shift and start to happen. Amen. When we pray, things shift and start to happen. Engaging and staying connected to prayer reminds me of one of my favorite hymns. I grew up singing at Lewis Chapel. Lewis Chapel, is, I'm home. I'm home, fam. The favorite hymn goes like this. Whisper a prayer in the morning. Whisper a prayer at noon. Whisper a prayer in the evening to keep your heart in tune. God answers prayers in the morning. God answers prayers at noon. God answers prayers in the evening to keep your heart in tune. Jesus may come in the morning. Jesus may come at the noon. Jesus may come in the evening to keep your heart in tune. Have you been whispering a prayer? Have you been whispering a prayer? Amen. Amen. Let's reflect for a few minutes when you whisper a prayer when you were lonely. We all can feel lonely sometimes. What about when we feel misunderstood, experience financial challenges or transition? What about 
if you were sick or an illness? What about if doctors are continuously running tests and trying to figure out what's going on? What about experiencing family problems, job challenges, loss of a loved one, or a caretaker of a loved one? Amen? Are you ready for the question? What can we do when we experience these life challenges? I don't know if you were ready for that question. Are you ready for the question? What can we do when we experience these life challenges? Amen. Point number one, prayer causes peace. Prayer causes peace. Amen. The scripture reveals when we are at our wit's end, we must turn all those anxieties over to God who will give us peace of mind. Apostle Paul advises us to turn our worries into prayers. You hear that? Turn your worries into prayers. As we continue to evaluate our lives, we need to ask ourselves, do you want to worry less? If the answer is yes, then we need to pray more. If you want to worry less, then we need to pray more. We need to continue to have conversations with God. We have to connect with God. Prayer is a strategic strategy that draws us closer to God. A strategic strategy, amen? We have to commune with God all of the time, amen? God's peace is different from the world's peace. True peace is not found in positive thinking, in absence of conflict or in good feelings. True, ple true peace comes from knowing that God is in control. True peace comes from knowing that God is in control. Turn to your neighbor and say, God is in control. Amen. We're getting ready to flash back again. Say flashback. I'm here to be transparent. Amen. Let's get set free and delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. In February 2022, I continued to experience emotional and physical challenges from my head on collision. Listen. Remember now, God is what? In control. In February 2022, I continued to experience emotional and physical challenges from my head on collision. These challenges left me on leave without pay for a significant amount of time. Amen? Imagine for a minute when your money starts to get funny. and you thought you would lose everything you worked for. You thought you would lose everything that you worked for. God stepped in and my parents called me and shared that they would pay all of my bills and some pocket change. Let me say that again. All of my bills from February I just went back to work in August. I get paid every two weeks, amen? So all my bills, my mortgage, car, everything. So praise the Lord. I'm a walking, living testimony that God will supply all your needs. God is a miracle worker. I went back to work full time starting the school year in August. I, I did not think I was going back. My friends know, she can testify, I did not think I was going back. But God is in control, and God is the author and finisher of our faith, and he said, you're going back. The power of prayer. The power of prayer. I had people praying for me, checking on me, giving me love and kindness. God has commanded. One another. These 
These people drove me. Some people came and opened my medicine, took me to my port, whatever I needed. They spoke life into me and said, you will go back to work. I will pray for you. The power of prayer. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. We must continue to walk by faith and not by sight. Pray and hold on to our faith and to God manifest things. Do you hear me? I want to encourage you today. Hold on to your faith and to God manifest things. Amen? Look at your neighbor and tell them you have no idea what God has brought me out of. Hallelujah. We serve a God that never fails. Amen. Tell your neighbor you are looking at a miracle. Tell your neighbor you are looking at a miracle. My God, my God. We serve an amazing God that's worthy to pray praise. Amen. Point number two. Pray in agreement with other believers. Let me come back for you. Pray in agreement with other believers. What did Michelle Obama say? When people go low, we're going to go high? How many women are going high up in here? When people go low, we're going to go what? High. Amen? Matthew 18, 19 through 20, King James Version. Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Did you hear that? You missed it. That was a praise, praise break. It will be done by my Father in heaven. Amen? For where two or three gather in my name, there I am with them. Amen, amen. Point number three. We can stand together and pray. Women of Lewis Chapel, are you ready to stand together and pray? Men of Lewis Chapel, are you ready to stand and pray? Leadership of Lewis Chapel, are you ready to stand and pray? Youth of Lewis Chapel and children, are you ready to stand and pray? Everybody, are you ready to stand and pray together on one accord? Amen? First Thessalonians 5 and 17, pray without ceasing. The Bible tells us we should pray without ceasing. Our prayer life should be a vital part of our lives. We find time to do everything else. We need to find time for that intimate prayer life. Amen? Pray without ceasing until God heals our body, our mind, our spirit, our land. Amen? Pray without ceasing for God to protect our children and youth in today's world. Amen? Pray without ceasing for God to protect our families. Amen? Pray without ceasing for our pastor and churches to continue to thrive. Amen? But they need you. God is great and worthy to be praised. Not just on today. But on every day, can you testify, God is great and worthy to be praised. Not just on today, but every day. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Mother Teresa once said, prayer is putting oneself in the hands of God and listening to his voice in the depths of our heart. The power of prayer. I want to encourage the women, men, youth, and children this morning, whatever that you're going through, trust God. Keep your faith and pray. Trust God. Keep the faith and pray. In conclusion, I want to briefly share some of this this week lyrics by Anthony Brown, one of my favorite songs. I don't own the rights to the music. <laughs> Look, you never know. I cannot explain. This may not make sense. I know what it looks like 
but I choose to go against that. And I'm speaking something different. I'm speaking something different. I'm claiming something different. Expecting something different. will be a week of miracles. Say miracles. The power of prayer. God acts on our prayers. God acts on our prayers. We should continuously join together to celebrate the praise reports in the spirit of love and excellence. Amen. We should celebrate one another, not be jealous of each other. Amen. We have to join together and touch and agree and pray for one another. Let's continue to pray for each other's families, medical conditions, loss of loved ones, job situations, life-changing events that could lead to financial challenges. Let's continue to cover our sisters. Let's continue to cover our children and youth in today's school. Amen? Let's continue to cover the men. Amen? And unspoken prayer requests. Sometimes we don't have to know, but we can lift them up. Amen? Let's continue to cover everybody. <laughs> the power of prayer. Another famous quote by our Vice President, United States, Kamala Harris. If you are fortunate to have opportunity, it is your duty to make sure other people have those opportunities as well. Let me say that again. If you are fortunate enough to have opportunity, it is your duty to make sure other people have those opportunities as well. Mentorship, friendship, sisterhood, brotherhood, let's come together, amen. Beautiful women of Lewis Chapel, I have a charge for you. And men, children, and youth, you may take this charge too. It's just a godly recommendation. Let's pray. Let's cover our sisters, families, friends, community, and our churches. The power of prayer. Amen.